Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seven Days of Valencia. It's me, JD Sensei, and welcome to the special nighttime edition. I've been thinking about this for a while, but maybe I should torture you guys with what I have to do at night. Uh, which isn't a ton. Mainly what I do at night, other than shoot zombies, is, uh, you know, fix up my stuff. Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, let me take that off. For now. She's gonna, she just overheats. It's, yeah, see, it's nighttime. Alright, so, first thing we want to do is take all this crap out. And we're going to go back in and just sort all this crap into the drawers, which is one of the things I do at night. And I pre pre uh, preload my mini bike as well. One of the things I do. So concrete, take that back, take that back, this back, and everything else goes upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> soon as I start recording. Ah, but it's... I, I, I figured since... Uh, what are we coming up on? 119? Yeah, I'm probably not going to do Horde Night. I don't really care for it. I might. I don't know. I, I'm still on the fence, because... I mean, I have plenty of Horde bases. I actually need all this out. All right. Let me do a real quick thing here, is I want to flip that over there. Uh, that can stay okay. Uh, anything I need on, now you're done for now. I guess we can just cook off the last of the uh, stone that's in these. Turn those over. Just have them burn off the the last of the stone in there. And this one's stone as well. I mean, I have more stone if I need it. This. Do I need to build anything out of iron? Not really. I think I'm okay on fences. Do I need to uh, fix any tools? I do not. All right, so we can go through some crap in uh, the various drawers. And then we're going to take out some stuff, too. Um, the duct tape. I knew there was something I wanted to drop off. And then the maps go down here. And uh, rockets go over here. We're up to 22 rockets. Not bad. Weapons go over here. So I have a 550 rocket launcher and a 450. And food goes right here, obviously. And that one can go there. And we just got to drop off the gunpowder. And I forgot to drop off the seeds, which actually, I'm not going to drop off the seeds. I'm actually going to take some spares. I'm going to take those. All right, we're going to grab out some of the sand, because one of the things I was wanting to do, we're going to take half the sand, and we're going to take half the stone. All right, and we're going to make the plates we're going to need over there. So we're going to go to this. We're going to do adobe peach plates. We're going to do a hundred of those. Should be... Yeah, 600, 600, 300. And then we wanted the white ones, too. Because we're going to do that nice little checkerboard pattern that I liked from last episode. Okay, that'll keep you guys up and running for now. And uh, I guess I'll just hold on to this. And let me check. Since we were cooking this off, where are we at on stone 770? Ah. Concrete here. See, I have tons of clay. Let me take this and take this. Put this one back to work and make sure I'm always melting stuff down in it if I need it. Because you never know when I want more glass. Uh, go ahead, go to town. Oh, you know what I forgot to turn on? This. Jeez, this stupid thing takes years to do that stupid stuff I wanted to do. Uh, was there anything I wanted to make in here? Not really. 
No, not really, not really. I used to build a lot with uh, cobblestone way back in the day, and I don't do it anymore. And I'm just taking a look and see if there's anything amazing in here. I mean, I could do dynamite sticks, pipe bombs. I like pipe bombs. I just don't use them all that often. Uh, mines are mines. They don't really do much for me. Yeah, a lot of clothes too. I'm I'm really excited. Uh, obviously, because we're still on track. Um, they have updated the store, by the way, PlayStation Store and Xbox Store. You can wish list the game right now. Can't buy it, but you can with wish list it. All right, we're getting up. Uh, I usually kick these over at around a thousand. We're just gonna go now. Take whatever's left, and then I will. Probably on Horde Night have to go get some stone. Yeah, and these, like I said, are just here. And eventually, well, I should have turned this one on. I forgot I was baking, some, baking stuff over here. Yeah, see, I got a... You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, give me this. And we're going to go to... It was this one. I just want to top off the... Uh, I want to top off the uh, clay, get that clay up. And let's put this clay back away. All right, we're getting there with the plates. We're almost done with the first hundred. Was there anything else I needed? I, You know what? Actually, this one I'm cooking, let me get some rebar frames. I'm probably running low, so go ahead and give me 500 of those. Yeah, that'll keep, it, that'll keep it busy and doing stuff at night. All right, I'm going to go upstairs and take a look-see, see if I got any visitors. Usually I get a screamer or two wandering around. So I'm going to take a look and see what's going on out here. It's a nice pretty night. Nah, I don't see much going on. Hey, usually I get a screamer or two. This is the bodies from the folks I shot overnight. Or at least a few of them. We'll go loot those in the morning. What happened? Did I just not plant the trees or what? Huh. Did I forget to plant trees there? That's interesting. That's just weird. Anyways, yeah. Um, the other reason I'm doing this is... Uh, I'm honestly tired, so uh, I normally I sit here and I do this this uh, this before I stream. Uh, I'm just going to take a break here for a second. Normally I sit here and do this before I stream, you know, in complete silence and stuff like that. You know, just doing what I got to do. But I'll tell you what, man, I'm like, if I do that, I'm going to pass out. I'm literally going to pass out. <laughs> So I figured, you know what, we'll do a rare overnight stream where we're not killing zombies. Might as well go in here. Huh. I had more. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they die out. I don't know. And I was making another room over here, but I'm being lazy about it. Let me just turn that on. See, I'm slowly working this room right here. Making another room. Uh, I guess I can. St oh, is that not? It's not done. There we go. Just go up this way a little bit. It gets me a little stone and a little iron, but for the most part, it's just me working on a room, uh, which, again, I was going to light it differently because I got pissed at how the uh, mushrooms are, I don't like how they came out. Definitely don't like how they, uh, the lighting in the mushroom room is 
I don't like it at all. But yeah, this is usually what I do at nighttime, and I actually need one more level up. Yeah, because it needs to be taller. And usually what I'll do is I'll just count how many blocks it is, and then I'll just dig through. You know, and uh, connect the walls up, and then we can go through over there. We'll see. Almost midnight. I should have a screamer at some point. And it's occasionally I go outside and just shoot at them because, you know, they're lower in property values. And, uh, you know, I might want to resell this place when the game ends. I will say I believe on the PlayStation Store right now you cannot get uh, Seven Days to Die anymore, the OG version. I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. So it's three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's the meeting point. I guess I can throw these down here for right now, just so I know where they are. And eventually there. This is going to be something. I just haven't decided what. So I figured I'd throw it in here for right now, so I don't forget about it. Yeah, so you get a little extra stone out of it. Well, right, let's go back to the snipey, because uh, I'm pretty sure sooner or later these forges are going to piss off a screamer here and there. Sure, you'll hear her out there eventually. How we doing over here? Got three? Yeah, see, it takes forever to make this crap. Let me go get the, the stone. That is done. Yep, yeah, you're completely done. Oh, somebody's outside. Okay. Well, uh, Deary, give me a second, and let me get this started, and I'm going to give you the rest of the stone. So, always make a little concrete on the side. There we go, 716. I'm going to drop that off. Leave that stone that's there. All right, what do we got? Yeah, that's a screamer. Oh, it might not be. Actually, you're empty, so let's divide this one, and there you go. Have fun. You're out. So give me half. And you got a little love. And we go. You got a little more love, you know. A little something to do. All right, let me uh, head up here. Who's uh, who's making a ruckus? Who's making a ruckus outside of my base? Which one of you kids is making a ruckus out here? Uh, it might not have been a screamer. It might just be a regular loser just wandered in. Usually, she'd make a little bit more noise. Okay, let's see what's down here. Okay, I don't want to fall. She really put something up so I don't fall. Yeah, I remember I did that. <laughs> I got to get rid of that at some point. I, I'm just being lazy about it. Hmm, okay. Uh, she probably croaked, to be honest. That happens. Yeah, I don't hear any feet steps. That's one of the good things about this base. I mean, crap dies relatively easily. How you doing? Anything else? No. Nothing amazing there. Okay. Uh, that's just crap I never used. Did this finish up? Do I need anything out of here? You know what you actually need, though? Here, have some more fuel. Speaking of which, I should check fuel on all these. Some of these are probably low. And, yeah, more, better off than I thought they'd be. Yeah. These two aren't running at the moment. I need iron. Well, here, have some iron. And 
Let's go ahead and grab some wood. Here, take that. And you're not doing anything, but you can take this. There you go. A little love for the four jaws. Get them up and running. Okay. And I don't need two stacks of wood. I just had them to have them. I do have them for... Actually, I do need two stacks of wood. Because we did build that little archway out there. You can see why I didn't do it in here. There's just not a lot of room to do it. Do I need to rebuild anything really? How's my armor, actually? Uh, all right, let me get some cloth fibers. Uh, yeah, I got a hard aid. I can repair my clothes while I'm here. Go ahead and take that off. Let's go ahead and repair that. There you go. And how's this? Let's go ahead and repair this as well. There you go. Leveled up that tailor tailoring. Um, what do you need for repair? Probably forged iron, right? Repairs with repair, repair, forged iron. Ah, I guess what I got. Forged iron. Okay, go ahead and repair that for me. Put that back. Put my mining helmet back on. Uh, we are not doing bad. Oh, what does this stuff take? I think it's just forged iron, right? Let's make a new set. Might as well put it to work. Let's go ahead and go to armor. Uh, wait, did I pick up the rod? Oh, I needed leather. Oops, I forgot the leather. How could I ever forget the leather? Well, you know what? I remember the leather. Okay. Might as well replace the armor. It's been a while. All right, so we want iron boots and iron chest over here. You, sir, will take care of the iron leg armor, the iron gloves. Okay, so boots, chest, iron gloves. I never do iron helmet. I'd rather see when it's in dark areas. That's just me. All right, so we got that. We got the Adobe plates. We have the, I believe we have dirt over there. Uh, the forest dirt. I believe I have enough to finish what I need to do over there. So I don't need anything out of this one. This one's always been empty because I never found a reason to plant anything. Uh, I have hops. A little low on seeds. This is just all my uses. This is normally where I store wood, and this is where I store stone. But I'm always doing something with them. So, and this is my spare engines and stuff if I need them. Every once in a while when that gets full, I'll just go to town and, uh, uh, yeah, you're getting close. We'll turn you off. How you doing? Hey, you doing all right? We'll just start making this crap to make it. Uh, you're just working clay. You're done making these. Thank you. You can continue burning. Uh, go ahead and give me some more stuff. You can give me some more stuff. And you can give me some more. You can give me what stuff you got left. All right. And then once that one's done cooking, I'll just turn it off. Uh, this can get turned off for the moment. All right. And that's enough time to do for round. And we want to take that. Actually, let's just take that out. Let's go to our armor. Let's take it all off. Not that. Put your damn pants back on, woman. What are you, crazy? All right. So let's go ahead and take our armor. And we'll put the big one up, and then this one, and then we got a 548. There we go. Same thing with the boots. Booyah, 549. And we'll come over to this one and grab out these and this. And we will upgrade those. There we go. And, nope. 
There we go. There we go. Yeah, upgrade the armor every once in a while and go ahead and re-equip that. Slightly bit better than it was. Don't care about the duster too much. Yeah, this is kind of what I do at night. Just go through, take care of little bits and pieces of chores I got to do overnight. You know, I got to do these things so I can build, you know? Uh, you're doing okay. You are... He's got plenty of iron. I just wanted to get his, uh, his, uh, clay caught back up. All right. Let me start taking this crap so I can start... Uh, oh, we got a, a loser outside. Yeah. Got her before she could scream. Let's see if I can get her. Oh, I can. Damn, homegirl was loaded. Thank you. That's what I do sometimes. I just come out here, shoot the screamer. And thank you, by the way, for giving me ammo and stuff. I love it when you do that. All right, so I'm going to drop off the overage. Whoop. I just noticed what I did there. I just noticed I meant to drop off this here. Throw that in here and throw this in here. She was loaded with goodies. Normally I don't get that much luck out of a screamer. All right, got 233. Might as well not waste the fuel on that. This one is 247. Go ahead and continue to cook. 137, continue to cook. You are burning down steel. You're burning down clay. And eh, you got a little bit. All right, I'll just throw this in there for future stuff over here. Uh, let me sort this out first. You can see, actually, screw it. I have enough to do this. Uh, throw it in this one. There you go. Now we can drop this crap off. There we go. Can only make about 360 more uh, concrete without going and getting root stone. So, I'll, but I'll have extra uh, concrete and stuff later. Yeah, I do like doing videos where I just do minor crafting crap all night. Oh my god, I didn't realize I forgot to eat. And this let me make the cornbread so we can just top off like that. Actually, give me these. Give me this. Let's go ahead and get some more bacon and eggs going. Oh, not charred meat. What the hell are you thinking? There you go. And put that away and see we're already out of eggs again. Get a drink while we're at it. And always leave the glass is going to be an issue because I'm not going to be used to having cups not here anymore. Also, these stupid things cook quick. The drink takes forever to cook. Okay, okay you're off. All right, and that one's almost done. But yeah, I, got, I always have a ton of stuff that I'm doing in here. I just threw these lights in here because I made them. But yeah, I do not like artificial lighting at all. This, to me, looks so much better. I don't know why. It just does. It can also be a dick and come right here. And maybe somebody will spawn in and start falling in there. It's always funny when that happens. Yeah, I made the mushrooms, and I know I planted more of them, but that's all that's left. So I don't know if that's just the game, or just the way it grows, or if they're too close to each other, or something weird. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. I haven't checked that in a week or so. I built it to build it. All right, you should be done by now, right? You are. You are completely finished. Thank you. 19. All right. 
actually, just because I'm a worry wart, let's go ahead and come on over here. And we're going to quickly just repair these. And re-equip them. I like to keep my weapons in tip-top shape. You know, you never know when I need to kill somebody. And I need to kill them now, not, you know, an extra bullet later. I don't think I'm running low on ammo. But you don't get this much ammo by, you know, not being cognizant of the status of your weapons. It's, yeah, I do have, like, 23 rockets. Just, just They kind of suck because they do so much damage to anything else you fire them at. So, you know, I never want to take them near a base or a horde base. All right, how are we doing on concrete? This set is done. This is probably going to be working for a while, so we'll grab that later. All right, let's go take the sniper rifle up, take another look. Hello, we only have one screamer tonight. One, uh, I don't know if the other one was a screamer or just a random, random idiot just wandered in. I'm surprised nobody gets hooked up on these. I, every once in a while, I see them stuck on these, you know? I'll see them stuck out there, but... Nine times out of ten, it doesn't happen. Yeah, and I guess I just did forget to replant those trees, but I could have swore I did replant. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I forgot there's no uh, no thing to push up. That's why I tend to build fences. And I got this. If for whatever reason they find a way to teleport their happy ass right here. I just love that I made this base. It's such a cool base. How we doing over here? Four. Boy, at this rate, I'll be able to fertilize, what, two spaces. I honestly don't think I'm going to use the fertilizer, though, because when I'm planting, I don't really need to uh, fertilize. So let's go put that away. Let's just put it right here. I'm not actively doing goldenrod. I would like a more a couple more tree variants too. Let's take a walk along here, see if there's a body that I haven't got. That was the one I looted. There's somebody else fell down here earlier. I just don't know where they fell down. It's a good way to get jump scared out here too. Yeah, that was the other one. Okay. Yeah, you just be wandering out here, checking things out, and then, you know, this weird scream right in your ear. This ditzo fell on you. You know, she just came over the edge. All right. I don't see anything, so. And they can't, they can only really sense you if you're by, if you have the door cl uh, closed. So, yeah, it's a, kind of a moot point. Uh, I'm tempted to turn that off, but I um, don't want to deal with it. Yeah. So we'll leave that for the next run. You can see I have plenty of gas. <laughs> My other one ha is doing gas, and it's, like, totally loaded. I have quite a bit of gunpowder if I need it. But ammo-wise, I'm pretty much set. I made these extra boxes, and I'm not using them at the moment. You know, I tend to make three or four just in case I need them. Actually, let's do this. Might as well make one really good one. All right, so to do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, assemble this. And we're going to take these parts out. And then close it. And we're going to do the same over here. Assemble you, sir. And give me these parts. Close it. And then we'll come over here to our handy dandy workbench. And we'll start upgrading. So we want this one and this one to combine. And we make a 527. And then we'll do this one 587 and 542. Perfect 600. 
this one and this one will make a 590 and this and this will make a 556 which will make it all purple and let's go ahead and assemble it booyah booyah and booyah completed so now we have a 568 rocket launcher gotta love it gotta love it it's not perfect but it's getting there. And I should have had the ammo in here anyways. Oh, if you're wondering. This is why I don't normally pick up brass. Or feathers. Or paper. And I don't think buckshot drops. I mean, the only thing I could really make is some lead bullet tips. If I needed them. It's also weird that uh, bullet tips are universal. I guess they just want, didn't want to, you know, drive people wacko. I'm going to start shutting these off. They didn't want to drive people insane with, uh, you need 9mm bullet tips and, uh, uh whatever, 7.62 or whatever rifle ammunition it is. Uh, I don't know why I'm not paying attention to that. Alright, still got plenty of iron. Well, not plenty, plenty, but we got, uh, we got quite a bit. And you are completely done. So, alright. So we're almost ready to go. We're going to always keep the blood bags just to top off my food in the morning. So uh, whatever blood bags I have. All right. I need a drink, actually. My drinky drink is a little low. I figured that was higher. That's close enough. Drop that in. There we go. 333, 34, what have we got left? We only got two, got a shot at another one. It still takes way too long. Look at how long it takes fertilizer. 169 minutes for 53 of them. That's ridiculous. Honestly, too, I just realized I don't have enough wood to make this happen. There you go. Now you got enough wood in you to... Keep you cooking long enough to actually make what I need you to make. All right, let's see how that concrete's coming. We got a little 127. Yeah, we get about 1,800 to bring over to the base. Add into our little gaggle. I call this nighttime with JD. This is what I do when I'm not actively mining. I come in here and just start building stuff and uh, melting stuff down, running the various equipment. This is why this one's not on, by the way. Like I said, it's almost completely full. Oh, it is completely full. It's done making what it needs to make, but again, uh, I, I don't have any place to store the, uh, the gas right now. I could make another box, but it's just kind of silly, you know. And you can see I only have like seven shale left. I thought maybe I actually had. Did I leave shale somewhere? I thought I might have left shale somewhere. I could have. I could just be thinking wrong, and I probably already moved it over. Yeah, I already moved it over. Okay, I gotta get rid of those stupid headlights too. There's no point in having those. All right, I don't think I'm gonna get another one in time. I don't think I will. Let's go. Because now we are at the point where I'd be like getting ready for my video with you guys. Oh, I should eat a few of these. Okay, I don't remember taking a hit, but I always take a couple to make sure my wellness stays up. And it levels up medicine. You never know. Okay. We're all done. And that'll do it, guys, for the special overnight episode of uh, Seven Days to Die Valencia. I hope you like this one. I figured I'd give you a little inside stuff into what I do overnight. And it might not have been a super exciting, might not have been a build one, but we did get to kill a screamer. That never, almost never happens with me. Uh, but if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. I do upload every day. Have a great day, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Bye now.